Okay. Wow. Mercury retrograde. Awesome. Tell me my battery's dead as soon as I turn it on. So I don't know how long this will last. But anyway, so as I've been talking about contaminated oceans and as anybody who watches any sort of, you know, wildlife uh, docu documentaries, I guess, that would be recent that aren't trying to cover this up, there's obviously been massive amounts of extinction and dead sea life going on. And now there's obviously so high of radiation contaminants from the Fukushima disaster that happened in 2011 that it cannot be covered up anymore. In fact, they're, they're already seeing massive amounts of birth defects over in Japan specifically. And they're actually being able to cut open fish. And I'm talking about like uh, tilapia, um, even Alaskan salmon, where they're seeing cancerous like little pores. They almost look like salmon eggs that are white. And it's obviously so high and intense, it's actually affecting fresh water fish. Meaning that, you know, how the lakes and streams and, you know, the whole precipitation thing it, it kind of recycles itself at some point. Yeah, radiation doesn't go away. Nuclear winter, have you ever heard of that concept? I mean, I'm not even a science whiz and I know at least that much. Therefore, some things, obviously with the whole retrograde thing I'm reflecting, and I'm like having Nostradamus reflecting because I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, one day when I was having one of my weird fucking moments, I was thinking like, I was like, how crazy would it be if the oceans are contaminated? How would it not be that far of a stretch to actually think that the rain has radiation in it? And then the more I thought about it, so lakes and streams are obviously contaminated because of what they're finding in some of the freshwater fish. And me living off the Pacific Northwest makes sense with the whole rain factor. So I'm just warning people now that there's likely going to be radiation contaminants that could be at hazardous levels or whatever in a lake streams river so if you do any kind of water sports and or the rain so which I find very ironic that the Areas that have been having droughts are now getting pounded with rain. And now I think about it too. I mean, uh, all the snowfall, how that's not seeping radiation into the mountains and everything too. Anybody collecting rainwater, anybody who does water sports, or anybody specifically who um, relies on seafood as a primary food source, you better start figuring out your apocalyptic plan fucking B right now. Uh, warning. I mean, I started warning people last summer about the whole Saturn Square Neptune thing and maybe you should stop eating seafood and I stopped. And it's now showing signs that it's being scientifically proven that it's causing leukemia and bone cancer. Because since fish is a, uh, is a great source of calcium, the Radiation contaminants are going to go directly to where that calcium would feed into the human body, which would be the bones. And that's painful. And I now, I now understand how Nostradamus and uh, Bo that lady, that Baba Vanga lady said that they're going to cure cancer. They're going to have to, because the entire world's going to get cancer because of this Fukushima thing. If you don't believe me, go to my Facebook page and go click on that link where I'm ranting about how you're a fucking idiot if you eat seafood. If you're offended by that, just ignore that part. Just go click on the link and read the article. And if you don't believe that, fact check it. Look up some more sources. Pretty sure they all say the same shit. Stop eating seafood. And avoid water. As much as you can, I guess. At least precipitation-wise or go, you know, diving right into it. Specifically. Um, for now. I'm not saying forever, but for now, until we understand how bad this is or how we're going to counteract this 